Right now, is this the face of an arsonist? Seven fires allegedly set by one man. A growing mystery, a trail of destruction, and a community on edge. Good evening, I'm Cindy Shu. It happened again. A fire overnight is providing new clues in a growing crime spree. The NYPD is investigating seven possible arson attacks in Queens. The first fire was set back in October. CBS 2 Steve Langford is in Forest Hills with new information. Forest Hills burning again. Flames spreading more destruction and fear. The latest torching in this Jewish enclave at this under construction home on 69th Road, about 12:30 Sunday morning. The latest suspicious fire lighting up the sky over Queens. The roaring blaze punctuated by a huge ball of flames. The frightening scene reigniting panic in this once comfortable neighborhood. It's not uh, pleasant. It's not. The beleaguered owner of this most recent burned construction site joining a growing cry here for greater police protection. So we need extra security. We don't feel secure no more. The NYPD releasing this photo of a person of interest, an image that matches in several ways what a neighbor's surveillance video outside the latest fire shows of a man on a similar motorbike. He had a helmet, like a green helmet. The neighbor, who doesn't want to appear on camera, tells CBS2 he spoke briefly to the man on this motorbike. He had a mask on, so he couldn't really see his face. It is the second time this under-construction home has caught fire in recent weeks. CBS2 on the scene after a failed bid to torch this same site on November 15th. The neighbor next door to the latest fire, her home now unlivable, had to be taken to the hospital as her house burned too. I almost fainting because I couldn't even look. Among the other charred sites here in Forest Hills, this home under reconstruction burned the night before Thanksgiving. And this home heavily damaged when a house being rebuilt next door was destroyed by fire. Fire, fire, fire. And this will be this week again in the front page will be fire. Community leaders say they have a meeting scheduled with the NYPD on Tuesday. One neighbor here telling us they're on pins and needles around here every time they hear a siren. In Forest Hills, Queens, Steve Langford, CBS 2 News.